Dozens of people gathered in Gresham to remember and mourn Bailey Martins Reed, a nine year old girl who was hit and killed by a car just three weeks ago. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with Bailey's mom about her life and what she'll miss most about her daughter. Just a heartbreaking story, Drew. Yeah, it's a devastating loss for this family. Everybody who came to the vigil tonight was just absolutely heartbroken. And the memorial here along Northwest Eastman Parkway has only grown in the hours that we've gotten here as family, friends, and even strangers came together to remember Bailey. Flowers, balloons, and signs now stand along Northwest Eastman Parkway in Gresham to honor the life of nine-year-old Bailey Martins Reed. She was she had dreams and plans and she was going to change the world and now she'll never get the chance. It's the most prettiest little girl that anytime that she smiled she would light up a whole room. She was very energetic. Three weeks ago to the day, police say Bailey, her mom Victoria and her two year old little sister were hit by a car on a sidewalk in Gresham. Victoria says the car jumped the curb. Next thing I know, I'm on the ground and I can't see because my glasses are off my face. I don't know where Bailey is. Maggie's not crying. Victoria and her two year old Maggie survived, but are still recovering from the accident. I came very close to losing my two year old as well. She was intubated in the hospital the first night. She has stitching on her face. She came close to losing her eye. We would still have to see doctors. She had a fractured skull. I have a broken leg. As Victoria, Maggie, and their family deal with this devastating loss, she says the outpouring of support has been overwhelming. And incredible. And the support that has happened from in town and across the country, and even in other, other countries, I've had support and messages from all over the world. And it's amazing. And Bailey would have loved it. such a terrible loss. We did reach out to Gresham police and the district attorney's office to see what charges the driver would be facing, but we were told by both of them that there are no updates to report at this time. Live in Gresham, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.